five steps in learning phonics. I'm going to talk about different stages and steps which are involved where, when we are learning or teaching phonics. Please note this point that I'm not referring to consonants. I'm not referring to vowels. I'm referring to phonics in which we include consonants as well as vowels. Please look at this diagram and figure. In this you have five steps that are looking at. Okay? These five steps refer to the five stages. Ko. First one, see. This one is the most initial and the most initial. This is the most initial and the most initial. Second one is Pithair, which is the CVC. पहले वाले में आपको सिर्फ A to Z alphabets की refer उन्होंने किया है दूसरा वाला जो है उसमें C V C C stands for consonant and V is for vowel third one is C V C V fourth one जिसमें के double triple consonant blends हैं और number five जो है that is related to advanced phonics और वो उसमें कौन कौन से हैं diphthongs हैं diagraph हैं ये सारे अभी इन पे हम वन बाय वन डिटेल में बात करेंगे और डिफथोंग्स के ऊपर जब बात हुई थी और हम वाउल्स पे बात कर रहे थे तो ये हमने कहा था कि मोनोफथोंग से हम सिंगल से स्टार्ट करते हैं फिर हम डबल पे जाते हैं फिर हम ट्रिपल पे जाते हैं तो ये जो प्रेजेंस है यहां डिफथोंग्स की ये इटसेल्फ आपको बता रही है कि दिस इज द हाईएस्ट लेवल दिस इज द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड लेवल सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल ईच ऑफ देम वन बाय वन Step 1 is related to A to Z alphabets. Here we are not going to differentiate that it is a consonant sound or it is a vowel sound. First of all, we need to teach alphabets. Because if you involve them in the involve kar denge consonants mein or vowels, mein, so it will be difficult for the beginners. If you just imagine and you just uh, bring uh, the picture of the toddlers ya nursery ke students ko ya kindergarten ko students ko aapne zehn mein laiye to unko agar agar aap pehle din se usme ulcha denge ki ye consonants hain and these are the vowels so it will be very difficult for them so first of all we need to give them the alphabet training completely jisme wo bilkul uske upar jab unko ek wo command ho jaye to then we need to move on so this was the most initial step Second one is related to CVC. C stands for consonant, V for vowel, and C for consonant again. So you just look at this uh, uh, chart also. These are all the CVC words. Hai isme. For instance, PAT hai. So P is consonant, V is vowel, T is again consonant. So this is a very short, simple sa word. Hai. So after alphabets, we need to go to this stage, jahan bilkul chota sa simple sa word ho, but wo is pe formula pe ho, CVC pe. Oye, koi word aap isme se utha liye, get hai, lip hai, saare ke saare jo hai, these are CVC words that first sound is the consonant, second sound is the vowel, and third sound again is the consonant. This is the second stage. Third stage is CVCV. Uh, words C is for consonant, V for vowel, C again for consonant, and V again for vowel. Now, this chart is not going to be picked up. This is CVCV. For instance, cake. C is your consonant, A is your vowel, K is your consonant, and E is your vowel. This is the same thing. L is your consonant. Uh, jo hai wo consonant hai, A aapka vowel hai, K aapka phir consonant hai, aur E jo hai wo vowel hai. So third stage is related to C, V, C, V words. Aur ab aap isko gradually dekhiye how we are moving towards the complex stages. And again we are following this guideline that we should start with the simple concepts and gradually we should be moving to the complex ones. Next, fourth one is related to consonant blends, which is consonant cluster. When two consonant sounds are coming one after another, the word is known as consonant uh, cluster or consonant blend. For instance, block, B and L. 
both are consonants or one after another hain there is no vowel sound in between b and l sound so these are known as uh, consonant clusters or consonant blends Similar, similarly s p l for instance splash to aap dekhiye shuru mein s p and l teeno jo hain wo consonant hain teeno ke darmiyan mein there is no vowel sound present okay so ye wale jo hain these are known as consonant blends just look at this uh, chart jitne bhi ye words hain ye sare ke sare consonant blends hain so this is the fourth stage because it is difficult for the students to pick the consonant blends and it is easier for them to pick cv c or cv cv words so this is the fourth that is uh, more complicated as compared to the previous ones is chart ko dekhiye sare consonant blends hain advanced phonics jo ke aapki uh, hai last stage wo aapki kaun si related hai that is related to diphthongs or that is related to uh, diagraphs diagraphs kaun se hote hain where two consonant sounds or any two sounds are coming together one after another and we are taking them as a one sound or we are pronouncing it as a one sound for instance p h we pronounce it a uh, uh, fur sound we don't say p h rather we pr pronounce it fur sound s or h we don't say s h rather we pronounce it as the sh sound so ये सारी की सारी जो हैं डिफथोंग्स भी आप देखिए ए और कोई भी डिफथोंग्स इकट्ठा करें तो एक आपको एक आवाज आती है ओ ए वी डोंट प्रोनाउंस इट सेपरेटली सो जहां दो साउंड्स आर कंबाइनिंग बट वी आर प्रोनाउंसिंग इट एज अ सिंगल साउंड और वी आर टेकिंग इट एज अ सिंगल साउंड दैट इज नोन एज अ डिफथोंग और अ डायग्राफ सो दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड फोनिक्स जो कि लास्ट वन है so gradually we are uh, going to the uh, complex and complicated stages moving from the simple one is chart ko dekhiye sare ke sare isme diagrams hain ab aap dekhiye isme p and h hai for instance that is first sound and c h hai that is chill sound that is s h hai so that is shell sound blend mein aur diagram mein ye difference jo hai please note this difference that in blend in consonant blend two consonant sounds are together but both are being pronounced separately for instance b and l hai to we pronounce it block okay but here dono ko combine karke some new sound is being pronounced and that is being taken as a single sound so that is known as a diagraph so you see uh, how gradually we are moving from the सिंपल स्टेज टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स मान वाइल्ड टीचिंग फोनिक्स और ये एक स्टैंडर्ड किस्म की स्टेजेस हैं जिसमें से इट्स बेटर टू फॉलो ऑल ऑफ दीज एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ शफलिंग दैम एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ डिस्टर्बिंग दैम क्योंकि ग्रेजुअली उस सारा नॉलेज उनको अगली स्टेज पर काम आता है स्टूडेंट्स को